How can you buy a million dollar home in San Diego, even though you can only afford half a million? Hey, it's Kyle with the Whistle Realty Group here at eXp Realty in San Diego. And today I wanna share a little fun fact called house hacking. This is actually how I got personally into the real estate game and I wanna share a little bit about house hacking with you. So maybe you've heard of house hacking, maybe you haven't, but here's the basic premise of it, is it allows you to buy more home than you can traditionally afford. Most of the time you talk to a real estate agent, you talk to a lender, you sit down, you meet with them, they look at your finances and they'll say, all right, Mr. Whistle, you can afford a $500,000 home. And you're like, sweet, I can afford 500. Then you start looking at what's available for 500,000. You're like, well, I don't really like any of this stuff for 500,000, like this sucks. I guess I'll just rent for the rest of my life. And you just watch your rent go up and up and up and up every year. You're like, dang it, this is so stupid. And you know every time you make that rent payment that your landlord is taking that rent money and using it to pay their mortgage. And you keep thinking to yourself, well, dang it, what if I could be the landlord? Well, this is where house hacking comes into play. The way that this works and the way I bought my first property, I bought a three unit property, um, which is typically known as a triplex. And just for clarity, if it's a one building with three units, it would be called a triplex. And if it's one property with three detached units, we would often call that a three on one. Um, either way, a three unit property. Um, so it's one single property with three units on it. If they're attached, it's a triplex. If they're detached, it's called a three on one. So I bought this triplex property. Um, this one is kind of unique. I had six bedrooms on the downstairs. So six bedrooms, five bathrooms on the downstairs portion. And upstairs, I had two one bedroom, one bath units. So three completely separate units, their own kitchens and, and all of that stuff. And so what was really cool is I lived in one of the bedrooms of this six bedroom house, rented out the other five bedrooms. Then I also rented out the two uh, apartments on top. So I was bringing in rent from seven people. I was bringing in so much rent that I actually brought in $1,000 more in rent every month than what the mortgage was. How cool is that? So now I got to buy this property for half a million dollars and make $1,000 a month. That's pretty freaking cool, right? Well, that's how I got started. I want you to do the same thing. Now that was years ago, prices are a little bit higher today. So that same half a million dollar property today is now worth about a million dollars. How cool is that? Right? I bought this thing 10 years ago and it's now worth double what I paid for it. So that house that I was making $1,000 a month on, I don't actually make more than $1,000 a month on it, is now also worth half a million dollars more than I paid for it. That is what house hacking is all about. So here's how this works. You meet with your lender, your lender says, hey, Mr. Whistle, you can afford a half a million dollar house. You don't find anything you like, okay. Well, that's where it, the game stops with most lenders, with most real estate agents. But with our team here at Whistle Realty Group, it's gonna go a little bit further because now let's talk about how do we house hack? How can we actually help you get into something for more than 500, even though that, that's all that you qualify for? And that's where we start looking at multi-unit properties. The beautiful thing here in San Diego County is that there are multi-unit properties everywhere. So whether you're down in South Bay, North County, East County, Central San Diego, there are multi-unit properties all over the place. And here's what's really cool. I recently saw a deal that was a million dollar property. It had three units in that property. They were all two bedroom units. And these two bedroom units each rented out for $2,500 a month. So here's how this works. You live in one of the units, then you rent out the other two units. Well, those other units bring in $2,500 per month each. That means those other units are bringing in about five thousand dollars in rent pretty cool now here's how the lender is going to look at it they're going to take whatever that rental amount is and they're going to take uh, about 75 percent of what that is for argument's sake let's just say it's four grand that's left over so now they're going to give you four thousand dollars a month in income to help you qualify for a larger property well when you take four thousand dollars a month in income that's going to allow you to buy a roughly another six to seven hundred thousand dollars above what you would have qualified for before. So where before you only qualify for 500, now you bring in the rental income from these other two units, now you're qualifying for that million dollar house easily. In fact, your mortgage payment, by living in the one, renting out the other two, your mortgage payment is actually gonna be less in that scenario than if you just went and bought a $500,000 property directly. 
So now here's what's so cool is where before you couldn't even find something you would live in. Now you found something you're living in and you're bringing in rental income from the other two units, your monthly expenses lower. But now instead of having a half a million dollar property you hate, you got a million dollar property you love. And now when you see the values increase, your value of a million is increasing at what I predict to be somewhere in the neighborhood of six to 8% over the next year. Well, what do you wanna hold when that scenario? Do you wanna hold a half a million dollar property or a million dollar property, right? We all wanna own the million dollar property. And here's what's cool. You could do this with three and a half percent down. Or if you're in the military, you could do this with zero dollars down. How cool is that that you could go from no money down and qualifying for half a million to buying a million plus dollar property with no money out of pocket. That is what house hacking is all about. So if you'd love to sit down, learn more about house hacking, see if that's an opportunity for you, give us a call at the number down below. I'm Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group. Thanks for watching.